In this video, we're going to do one of my favorite things, and that is masking. And masking is fun in any application. Masking is actually like a window that you see through into the image or the situation behind the mask. So it, it's, it's easy to do but it's you're creating a window. So let's, let's go into Illustrator. With masking, we can make shapes and see through shapes, or we can see through text. So let's go into Illustrator and do some masking. So I've got this Illustrator file, um, and I got a bunch of panels opened, and the first thing I'm going to do is place an image. So I go File, Place, and I'm going to bring in an image. And I'm going to fill that whole little box with my image. I can see this blue cross going through the image, meaning that the image really isn't there. So in my properties panel right here, and if you don't have a properties panel open, all you have to do is go window, properties, and with the image selected, I can click embed, and now the image is actually in my document. And I want to fill the screen with this image, so this is a bad thing to do, but I'm gonna do it anyway, I just make it bigger. So to create a mask is really very simple. You can use any shape. I might select the star tool. And actually before I do that, I think I'm going to place another image. I'm going to go file place. And I have another image here all ready to go. And I'm going to drag and put this image in over the first image. Select my black arrow tool. First, I'm going to embed that image. Select it and enlarge it. So now, to create a mask, I'm going to go back and choose the star tool because I like it. Or maybe I'll use the ellipse tool. And then I'm just going to make a circle or an oval. And it doesn't matter if it has fill or stroke when you create it. I've created this with a uh, gradient. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'll change that fill color to red. And to make the mask, the window that I'm going to see through, I'm going to see through this uh, red oval so that I only see the door behind it. So the oval is selected. I shift click on the image and notice in the properties panel down at the bottom it says make clipping mask. That's one way to do it or you could just go to the object drop down men menu clipping mask make either way we'll get the job done I'll do it this way there's my mask and with the black arrow tool selected I can drag that around the screen and that's the window that I'm seeing through only for that image okay so the thing about masking is uh, if you select the white arrow tool and then click on the image in the mask, oops, let's try this. In the layers panel, I can see here it says clipping group. Let's make this wider. And if here I go in and select that 
circle, then I can actually move the image around in the mask to adjust what I'm revealing in my image and I can drag that around. And again, I'm using the white arrow tool. Or with the white arrow tool, I can click an anchor point and change the shape of my window, so to speak. There you go. And then if I go black back to the black arrow tool, I can resize it. Oops. I can drag it around and resize the mask. So that's, you know, that's basic masking. You can use any shape. I like to mask with text. So I'm going to place another image, File Place. And I've got this Mexican calendar here. And it's the same process. Bring it in, drag it, embed it so it's actually there. And with text, it's, it's the same process. Click my T tool. Uh, the character panel is kind of strange finding it. We haven't worked with text yet. Uh, so I'm going to close that to find the character panel. You have to go window type character. There we go. And I've set the point size to 72. And for a font, I'm going to choose impact because it's nice and thick. And I go in here, I'm going to just type in all caps. And make the text bigger. And to constrain aspect ratio, uh, I hold the shift key down, change a couple of letters. Okay, Let's, I want to make that as big as I can. Okay, there we go. So I have my text in here text selected, shift click on the image behind it. Uh oh, it looks like, uh, uh, let's, I'm going to lock some stuff up here. Lock this, lock that, deselect, click the text, shift click on the image that I just brought in, clipping mask make. And that's, I, I don't really like it that much. Uh, maybe if I put a black background behind it, maybe that would work. Do, do, do. Huh, do. There we go. Do, 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 do. Uh -huh. So I've got a new layer right here. Black arrow tool. I select black for fill color. Get the rectangle tool. Okay, and let's drag this clipping group above the rectangle. There you go. Okay, so that's a little better. So there you go. That is your basic masking with text and shapes. Now, one thing, I, I don't know, I have Photoshop open. And one thing that I do want to say is, like, I have this image here in Photoshop, and it's got, what if I just wanted to bring in the lady's face? Well, what I would do, I you could create a mask 
and used a pen tool to go around her ear, around her face, okay? But what I would do, I would go into Photoshop and just get rid of the white background. And then I have a transparency here, and then I would go File, Export, Save for Web, And I would save time if I crop this. I'm going to do that. Cancel. Let's just crop this thing so we don't have so much white space. That's just going to take time to process. So now I go File, Export, Save for Web. And I'm going to make this a Ping 24. Uh, if you make it a Ping 8, then her face is going to be surrounded by a little white line that just won't go away but if you make it a ping 24 the white line goes away so if you make if you go into Photoshop make something a ping 24 then dream time woman's head there we go So we're ready to bring her in. We have a layer for her woman. The layer is selected, file, place. Woman's head. And we bring her in and embed her. And there we go. Put her behind our title. There you go. <clears throat> so sometimes for a mask, the ping file may be the way to go. Also, once you bring in a mask, let me unlock some of this locked up stuff. There you go. There's a drop shadow. And you can manipulate it, of course, change its opacity, etc. But all of these effects should be able to be applied to your mask object. There you go. Masking, it's a lot of fun. And there's the ping effect. Enjoy masking. Thank you.